Okay, so for standard deviation, you can calculate this manually. Standard deviation for the population is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of x, which is the score, minus our median, and that squared over our number of data points n. You can do that separately uh, for each data set. It's much easier just to use the calculator. Uh, if you want an example of how this is solved manually, I did this previously. If you want me to do more of these manual uh, solutions, I can do other videos for you. But 9 times out of 10, you are going to solve this using your calculator. So let's bring up our calculator. And let's put it in statistical mode, or statistics mode, and then go single variable. And we have the frequency table here, but we don't need it, because this is not a frequency distribution. So let's hit shift, and then set up, and then we will go down, and we'll hit number 3 for stat, and we'll turn the frequency off with number 2. Okay, so after that, we want to start entering in our values. We're going to start out with our male's data, and then we're going to start, then we're going to do our female data. So for our male data, it goes 6 and equals, and then it is 12, 13, 15, 18, and then it is 22. 24, 24, um, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 34. Once they're all entered, hit the All Clear button, then Shift, then 1. And what we're looking for is number 5 for variables, and again, number 3 is going to be our standard deviation. So, it's 7.8. So, males, our standard deviation is 7.8 to one decimal place. Okay, and so the same thing for females, we just enter in all the data, and we go from there. So for females, we're going to go shift, uh, no we're not, we're going to hit mode, mode, statistics, single variable, and now we're just going to enter in all our data points. So 9 equals 11 equals 13 equals... 16, 19, 21, 25, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 35. Then we're going to hit all clear, shift, 1, number 5 for variables, and number 3 for our standard deviation. For this one, we've got to round up, so it's 7.9. Alright, so that's our standard deviation for both of them. To calculate this manually, obviously, you would use the mean for each of the data sets. You would be best to do this up in a table and work through each point and then square it and then divide it, sum it and add it, then divide it by the number of data points. So next we're just going to look at evaluating the entire data set. I'll see you in that video.